Howdy folks, TJ here. So your Specky Next Kickstarter 2 just arrived. There's thousands of new people that now own Nexts or are about to. Not everybody's received them yet. Uh, folks like myself in the United States, I don't think they've shipped yet. Last Kickstarter update from Henrique on Christmas Day was there's probably nothing going to be shipping between now and, uh, and the end of the new year. Uh, so expect basically shipment starting early next year, 2024. So I'm thinking I won't see mine in the United States of America until mid-January, if all goes well. So I look forward to it arriving. But as you know, I own a Kickstarter one, so I'm perfectly fine waiting for whatever it takes. But what are you going to do? What have you done with your Specky Next that just arrived? A lot of people will probably play around with it a little bit, turn it on, make sure it boots, set things up, uh, maybe play a game or three or five, uh, uh, rekindle some of that old romance and old memories of days gone by. But then there's some of you that have an itch to program, an itch to make your own game. I mean, who of us here watching this video probably didn't at one point try to back in the day on whatever computer platform you were on. I wasn't on Specky. I wasn't on an Atari. Uh, but who didn't do a, a 10, you know, print hello world go to, you know, type of thing or make their first little game where you had a block and that block shot a less than, uh, no, a uh, minus sign, minus sign, less than sign. So it looked like an arrow uh, towards another block on the other side. And when it hit that block, that block disappeared. It was the creation, the melding of your first game, right? So now it's 2023. You go, I, I think I could do a little bit of that. Uh, so what are you going to do? Uh, are you, do you have a idea to make a first game? An idea that maybe with the Specky next arriving, it's time to really get serious about coding. But you don't want to do the C stuff. You don't want to do assembly and all these other guru things. You just want to use basic. Well, the beautiful thing is next to basic is quite powerful. And with the speed of your Specky next being able to shotgun to 28 megahertz if you need it. And my game needed it because <laughs> uh, but it gives me an opportunity to improve and maybe I could change some of my settings later on in my own game because uh, I've improved my code. <laughs> but do you have some ideas? Uh, so this video is just to kind of scratch an itch uh, for me personally to see if maybe I can spur some other folks on to maybe make their own first games to make them available, whether it's through itch.io or through some other means for people like me to try. And maybe if I see enough of that action going on, it might rekindle me to start programming again because it's been a number of years. I've made two games in my life, real games that are fairly complete. I created Invasion of the Cloud People for the Specky 48. I did that years ago on a mix of a... Uh, Timex Sinclair TS2068 testing the waters to actually doing the game on my Omni laptop. If you haven't been to my channel before, watch some of my old videos. I've got lots of videos. I'm over a thousand videos now, and I have tons of videos showing. In fact, I made a playlist, a playlist of Invasion of the Cloud People, which is the name of my game. It brought up 32 videos, and there may be a few lost in there that I didn't click a playlist on, but if you want to watch them from oldest to newest, I made a playlist, so check out my playlists. Uh, and it shows you my first thought on a Specky 48K version of the game to get my juices flowing because back then I didn't own a Next yet. I it wasn't even on the Kickstarter one. Luckily, I purchased a pledge from somebody that was willing to uh, lose their pledge, and I gained it and paid a fair price for it. And uh, while I waited, I wanted to learn programming. So I grabbed my TS-2068 book, my Spectrum Toast Rack book, and between them and the internet and my old memories of Atari programming, I put together a game uh, that I'm proud of. It's not great, but I kind of made a joke back then. It would have been a game that would have been on a cassette 50 tape and may have been one of the ones that was actually kind of a little gem in, in the mix. At least I look at it that way. Or I ask mom, and she goes, oh, yeah, that's a gem. That's a gem. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so I started there. And then I ventured into my Specky Next Kickstarter. One arrived. 
I made the invasion of the cloud people the next pun intended storm. And uh, so I've got two games to my list uh, of accomplishments. Today we're going to chat about those. You've probably watched videos before, so in normally I'll reminisce a little bit. I'll chat about it, spur you on to maybe do the same, and then play a round of my own game just so you can see what I did. And then maybe that will kindle something like, you know, I've never made a game before, or I haven't made a game since the 1980s. Maybe uh, TJ's excited about it. I could be excited about it. And then in turn, your excitement will turn back onto me and I'll be excited again. Because I have lost some of my mojo uh, this last number of years and I need a kick in the keister to get them going. So let's chat about it. Why do you want to make a game anyway? I think it's a cool accomplishment to program, you know, come up with an idea, first of all, that you think would be a fun thing. Did I start this recording? <laughs> uh, yes, I did. Uh, that's good. Um, let me focus in. I don't know what I'm focusing. Now, hopefully the, the video is not coming in and going out too much. As I get uh, dramatic and move my hands back and forth, sometimes the video will kind of come and go. Anyway, uh, why? You know, what, what's your idea? Okay, I want to make a game. I want to learn the programming. What's your idea? So jot that down. Write it down on a post-it note, whatever, just so you can remember it. If you come up with a name, I'm kind of an idea man. So I always have ideas coming into my head. I'll jot them down. Write down the name of the game uh, or what I think may be the name of the game and uh, some ideas of what it's going to be about. And then one day I'll pick up that post-it note and go, okay, time to dive in. So come up with the idea first. Uh, obviously, that's that's good. And there's lots of great games out there. So you, you know, creating a, a fresh game that no one's ever done before is kind of, I'm not going to say impossible, but you can come up with your own flavor, your own idea and to date, Invasion of the Cloud People sounds like it's a weather game. I, I've never personally seen too many games that include weather. Sure, there's the periodic lightning strike in a horror film, uh, but there's never a game that you were being attacked by tornadoes and lightning strikes, at least that I know of. So I had, I think, a nifty idea. Again, this is just me speaking. It may be the worst idea ever, but I had an idea. So I came up with an idea, and this dates back to the 1980s, believe it or not, because I started making Invasion of the Cloud People on my Atari 800. It didn't get too far because around that time I was becoming of driving age, getting my learner's permit, uh, saving my own money from paper route, and also starting to save money during high school, working as a uh, dishwasher and then a uh, busboy to a, a cook at a restaurant to save up money to buy my own car, and so I could take out the sweet ladies <laughs> and cruise down Main Street. So I was a busy guy. Uh, so I stopped programming and bought a car and the rest was history. Then zapped the 2000s, 2000s, uh, and I started saying, you know what? I'm an old fart now. I've been married for 30 some odd years. Let's make a video game. And so that's where I did it. I started with Invasion of the Cloud People first. It's a specky 48K game created on my Omni laptop. And I'm quite proud of it. It's only a seven-level game, but the last handful of levels, uh, five, six, and seven, are a bitch. And I, to date, have not seen anybody actually play it and win it. There's people that, you know, do those cheat saves and stuff, and then they get to that point. I feel that's cheating. If you want to make a video to show all the levels, I guess it's okay. But playing from beginning to end, I have not had one person yet say they've won. No. I'm lying. Babo, Babu, <laughs> Babu, uh, Babu. <laughs> he actually did. I, I remember him saying he did. Now, there may be some other people in there, but I'm old and I'm forgetful. But he did actually win, and I think he posted a picture of the final. Yeah, I won it. And there may be a few others out there, but uh, yeah, it, it was fun. It was seven levels, hard as a bitch. And normally, uh, it, that's a specky game for you. Specky games are ruthless, they're cruel, they're mean, and they come in and they beat the shit out of you, like Abu Profanation and Jumping Jack. I mean, my game is tame compared to that, because you can normally get from one to five relatively okay with a few, probably a, a half an hour of play. Uh, getting the final version, winning is a little tougher. But so Invasion of the Cloud People. I did it, I put it up on Itch, and if you're not familiar with ITCH, itch.io. It is a place for people like you, me, to put up a video game. 
You can make it free. You can make it a donation thing where it's free. Make your own offer, which is what I do because I'll be truthful if somebody's going to give me a few dollars just to say, hey, thanks for making this game. It, it spurred me on to make my own or whatever. It's cool because, you know, making a few dollars to buy some beers and to enjoy your hobby is fun. I've had <laughs> tons of money on any of these, but there's been, you know, I think 20 some odd people that have donated towards the game. And I thank you very much for doing so because it spurred me on to then make this game, Invasion of the Cloud People, The Next Storm. It is a next specific game. And at the time, you know, there was plenty of games for the next, but there wasn't like 10 million like you find for the old Specky. So it was kind of fun to make a Specky Next game that used some of the capability, like adding sprites to your game. For a commoner like me to learn, there was a sprite editor that you could use a mouse, a PS2 mouse connected to your Next to, to make your own characters and your own sprites, your own nasties. So I went through all that. If you watch some of the videos on my playlist, you'll see that I showed some videos early on. And here's my idea. I have a character moving now. Uh, and you see me slowly progress to finally coming out with the game and my excitement and playing it. And every few months, I'll go through a, an itch and I'll, I'll load up my own game and play it because I like it. <laughs> I'll be truthful. Uh, if, since there's a few thousand new Next people, I invite you, to, uh, and I'll put the link down below, to visit my site. The game is technically free. It says make an offer. If you can make an offer of a dollar or two or whatever, thank you. If you can't, just grab the game, download it, play it, uh, and actually make a video of it. Because nothing excites me more uh, than somebody actually donating to the game a few dollars and playing it and making a video of them playing it. And if it, the video is them having a hard time or winning it, whatever it is, it spurs me on. Those are the things that are going to get me excited again to make a third game on my roster. And it will be for the Specky next, I'm sure, uh, of whatever my next idea is. Uh, technically, I call this Invasion of the Cloud People, the next storm, a demo. But it really is a complete game. There's 10 levels of fun. Uh, I'll call it fun. <laughs> I was going to make three more levels back then, but I never got to it. I lost the mojo. One day I may find it again. And that's why I'm making this video, because if you ex if I can excite you and you excite me back, we've got a party. <laughs> uh, a fun party, I think. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm just looking to get spurred on myself. So let's click on. So you come up with an idea. You sit down at your next. You read the manual that came with your next. I would invite you also to read manuals from older speckies, because I think they're great ideas in there that could be moved up to the world of the Specky Next. So if you don't want to make a Specky Next specific game first, why not make, if you own an older Specky or want to be in the older Specky mode, make a Specky game that's rather simple using UDG graphics and have your own little graphic things that you create. Get the, get the mojo going, get the flavor going of this is how you program a game. So you don't have to necessarily do it on an X first. Uh, you could do it on an older Specky or whatever. Uh, but once you've got the itch and you've got your Specky Next going, you'll probably want to use sprites and all the extra sound capabilities of the Next. Using a program like Next DAW allows you to make music. And I use Next DAW to add a soundtrack to my uh, game. And it sounds cool to me. And those are things that you can explore. Again, if you watch the playlist, I got to get that. So it'll give me a break to say, hold on a second, and I'll come right back to you. I is back. This will be a longer video. Uh, it's just you and I chatting for a little bit about uh, spurring you on. So where was I? Uh, so yeah, you came up with an idea. You started tinkering on your Specky Next. Uh, read the Specky Next manual. Uh, also check out the Next Facebook groups. One of them is actually basic for the Spectrum Next. Read there because you will learn lots of stuff from there and you will have questions along the way that need to be answered because you just can't figure them out. I'm no guru. I'm not stupid, but I'm not great with programming stuff. So there's things that I asked in that group years ago that helped me create my own game. So start tinkering. Bring up your Specky Next Basic. Start making a quick little hello world if it comes to that. Then ex start exploring the sprite editor that's built in the Next ZX OS. Launch it, connect a PS2 mouse to your computer, make your own little sprite, nasty, and 
do it as simple as making your sprite and have it appear on the screen. And once you've got that knocked out, then make your sprite move uh, by a joystick or a joypad. You're now starting to formulate a video game. And once you've got that character moving, well, can you shoot or can you touch something and it do something? Or if you run into a wall, make a donk. Uh, those are all things that you've got collision detection that you will start exploring. Or you will push the mouse button and it shoots out a arrow or a bullet. And you move those things on the screen. You'll start learning the dynamics of how this all works. If I could do it, you sure as heck can probably do it. I won't guarantee it. I'm not the type to say guarantee anything because... Other than you guarantee one day you'll kick the bucket. We all will, right? Uh, unless you're a vampire. <laughs> okay, we won't go there. Uh, so anyway, the idea, you start tinkering on your specy next. Learn how to save your work, your hello world to the SD card. There's lots of basics you're going to have to learn along the way. Uh, so you'll need to learn to save and give it a name, load it back up, continue adding code to it. Add a sprite to it, make the sprite move, make the sprite shoot, make the sprite blow up when you touch something. There's all these things, and once you've got those basics down in a loop of some kind, you're going to say, you know what, I've got the startings of a game. Uh, and then at that point, you can start adding to it. Whether adding to it means years of adding to it. There's some people that I know that have been working on stuff for years. And they're just, I don't know if they're necessarily wanting to put it out there, but they're perfectionists, or they just like doing it and they'll do stuff. Oh yeah, I've got a little further, but it's three years later and, and there's, they, they haven't put anything out there. You don't have to put it out there. I mean, it's your call. Me, myself, and I, I like to make something and actually have people at least test it. So send it to somebody, have them try it and see if it works on somebody else's computer. Uh, and, and that will kick your butt in the gear to maybe complete it. Uh, so yeah, there's a whole bunch of things. And then after you create your game and you've saved it, what are you going to do with it? You're going to email it to some friends. You're going to put it on a Facebook group and put it on your Google uh, Drive and have people grab it. Or get a little bit uh, more uh, businessy. No, it's not business. Itch.io. You can slap it up there. You can make it available for free. You can make it available for donation. I would say put it up for donation uh, because then you might get a, a few dollars here and there and you're going to say, hey, Enough people made a donation. Maybe that will spur me on to make something else. Or maybe charge a price if you feel your game is worthy enough. I didn't feel mine. Well, I shouldn't say that. I think mine are worthy enough, but I just wanted people to play it. And, and, and that spurs me on to do other things. So I made a donation. And, you know, kick back a donation. And I'm not bashful to say, you know, please try it. And if you like it, you know, donate a few. Uh, but I want people to try it. So with the thousands of you next owners out there, I'll put my link down below. Uh, at least try it. Uh, I'd love for more people to try. And then in the itch.io account, you can actually comment. Please comment. Please post a link to your video of you playing the game. Those things will help me uh, itch me on. So let's go ahead and just for the heck of it, I've got on my iPad running. This is Sinclair Society is the name of my uh, itch.io account. So if you uh, search for Sinclair Society or just click on the link below, You'll see I've got two games. The one up here, Invasion of the Cloud People, The Next Storm, ZX Spectrum Next. If you click on it, we'll take you to a rather elaborate, I've got video link here of me playing the game long ago. I've got pictures of what the game looks like. And I've got the little cover art. I created all of this. I created this little uh, cloud person uh, and I made it on a Mac and I used some filters to tweak it. But I created this fun graphic that sometimes the graphics are more fun. <laughs> the actual, like the Ataris. The, the, the graphics looked wonderful, or the Odyssey too. It looks like it's a thousand bucks, but when you go to play it, it's only a dollar. <laughs> but that's okay. You want to get people sucked into the story, right? So you, you see that I've got a whole bunch of text here. I, I've got, you know, a story. I posted my story, what the game is all about. Uh, and I go through all of that. So if you're a reader, I welcome you to visit the site. I have a story of where Invasion of the Cloud People started, who they are, who you are as a hero. You're Captain uh, Quacker, uh, because the sound sounds like a duck. <laughs> Somebody said, hey, when you clicked on the acid raindrops, it sounds like a duck. 
It, true. I made it kind of sound like that, so I named him after a duck. <laughs> it just stupid, silly things, right? And there's all this text. Uh, let me focus in on the screen a little bit. You're probably seeing it come and go. Uh, you're probably now seeing some text. Uh, but you're here just chatting to me again. This is not, you know, go to the website, uh, itch.io account for me. and You'll see a whole bunch of text, a whole bunch of story. It tells you what the game is about. There's some people that actually finally, after me begging to post, uh, you know, that they played the game or whatever it is. You can download it right here. It says download now, name your own price. Uh, whether a price is a dollar, five dollars. Uh, it's been all over the place, but I'm happy to say there have been some people that have donated. When you click on download now, you can also say, no, just I want to download it for free. Uh, and then you download it, put it on your next. Uh, as the notes say, you know, it, it, there's a little text file that comes with it that says, slap it here, put the whole next storm folder where you want to play it, open it up and launch the game. And then you'll get to play the game for the first time. And I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, so let me go ahead and actually get out of my iPad mode, switch it over to the Specunix. Let's play my game for a little bit. If you've watched before uh, and seen me play, well, I'm going to do the same thing. I haven't played this game for many months. We're going to see how well I do in two or three tries. And it'll give you a little taste of, if TJ could do that, I could sure do that. And I'm going to do that, and I'm going to make it, and I'm going to spur him on to make another game or whatever. This is a friendly, friendly thing here. You spur me on, I spur you on. That's what makes this group grow. That's what makes the platform grow. I'd love to see more common dudes that have zilts for, for I was going to say brains, but I was say zilts for programming knowledge actually pick this up and do it and make it. And no matter how bad or good it is, it's great that you're trying. And I think we just need to spur each other on because I'd love to see more itch accounts open because of, Maybe a little thing that I did. I'm, an, I'm a cheerleader. I'll admit it. I may not be the brightest uh, man in the room. I may not be the sharpest tool in the shed. All those things. But I am uh, engaged enough, enthusiastic enough to make it happen. And it's no small little feat. There's a lot of work that went into making this little game. It's not something you just do in five seconds. There, and, and even if you were a guru, it would take more than five seconds. Uh, this may be very piddly for real programmers. And like I said, there's lots of room for improvement in my code that I could do. I could probably make this game uh, half the size it is because of knowledge. <laughs> Maybe even more. I tap things out. There's things that I had to explore. We'll use the word banking. And there's a video I made 45 minutes long of you can add. There's a lot more memory in this next. But if you don't know how to harness it, it's not going to do you diddly. You're going to get up to around uh, th upper 30s, of 40K of size and start having anomalies with your game or program it's because you're not banking code that you need to bank to other areas to have it accessible by your main program so you're going to need to learn some things <laughs> and you may not be able to get that from a book you may need to read the book and go what the hell's that mean and then go in the specky next basic group that i talked about and ask questions and people are very friendly there and they'll answer for you and you can try to uh, harness that and, and put it into your own game. So let's go ahead and play my own game I made. And uh, and then we'll come right back to you. And we'll see how well or poorly I do. Hold tight. All right. We're going to go ahead and play Next Storm. Uh, wish me luck. Captain Quacker Jacks. <laughs> so, yeah. Have fun with whatever game you end up making. Maybe it's not a game. Maybe it's an application. Uh, but whatever you end up making... Uh, do let us know, whether it's through Facebook groups, uh, however. Because I think the more that people like you and me make our own stuff, it's going to excite other folks. And we want to get more just intermediate. We'll call it intermediate. Just fun people that are just making their own things and they make it happen and they put it out there. So anyway, next storm. So going to go ahead and launch it. Our game. Uh, well, actually, let's show. So I do have a story. So you can hit G to start the game or you can hit, uh, hit S to view the story. Let's just go ahead and go through the motions. If you've seen this before, I do apologize. You can fast forward. If you're brand new to the channel or never watch any of my Invasion of the Cloud People videos, 
uh, I went through and made a whole little user manual kind of built into the game. This is where I needed to learn that banking thing that I talked about earlier. But uh, it tells me who you are, your Sally Storm, that little green spaceship looking thing. A funny story uh, I'll tell in the future about how I de devised my little sell you storm. Think of the name, sell you, sell you. Anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that some other day. Uh, touch these. Uh, blue is the good raindrop. Blue raindrops are good. A uh, little blue portal, uh, another portal, and a little battery that's got a little uh, electricity looking thing in there. Those are all good. Those you want to touch and collect, but you don't want to touch these. Uh, that's chakra. Uh, uh, what the hell did I name my tornado? Uh, Thermistor? What the hell? <laughs> uh, Twistatron. <laughs> I had to remember. A uh, Twistatron. A uh, hail bopper, which is a big hail uh, snowball thing. Red raindrops. Those aren't good. That's acid rain. And then you've got some snowballs. And then uh, the cloud people. They come in different colors, uh, but they all look very similar. Uh, and I created all these graphics with the sprite editor that's part of Next ZXOS. Uh, you can hit C to continue. It tells you the story, the object of the game. I think that's important. Collect at least seven blue raindrops per cloud layer. Nasties can steal blue raindrops. Okay? Uh, Self-destruct if you can't get all seven. I'm giving you a tip. Uh, remember, this through the game as you may need to do this unthinkable action to fight on. So if you're playing and there's uh, the, the baddies touched a, a blue raindrop and you no longer have seven to collect, you're screwed. So if you take yourself out, you can continue playing the game. Or there may be other times that you take yourself out because uh, if a nasty does something and touches a portal before you touch it, game over. So uh, anyway, hit C. To continue, uh, visit next cloud layer. That's what this is. This is a portal. You click the portal. Once seven blue raindrops are collected, the cloud layer portal will appear. Touch the portal to transport to the next cloud layer. Don't let any nasties touch the portal or the game over. If they touch the portal and steal it, you're never going to move on. So you have to touch. You have to. So that's where you might want to go. Oh shit! He's about to touch the portal. But you can run into something and take yourself out to continue playing the game. you got to think of those things. Uh, so self-destruct if needed. C. Appears as a portal. This yellow one in the cloud triangle. What the hell is the cloud triangle? Well, we'll get there hopefully today. Uh, touch it to transport to the next layer. But it also gives you new power. Can only be used once. Uh, with at least four blue raindrops. Hold down the space bar to transport to the next layer. So I added that in as a kind of a uh, level uh, transportation thing that, shit, they've stole all the raindrops. I can't collect seven, uh, but this is the give me. This is the, uh, what do you call it in a golf when you, you get the uh, Murphy shot? Murphy shot? Something. Uh, it starts with an M. <laughs> a mulligan. Mulligan. That's what I was going for. So that's your mulligan. You might need me be able to use that. So hit C to continue. Refluxinator battery. If you get this, you can shoot rockets. If you don't collect it, you can't shoot rockets, and you may not get through the f future levels. Uh, this shows how many lives you have, which is down here. There's a monitor that monitors each life, and you can gain one and you can lose all of them. Uh, collect blue raindrop uh, counter. Uh, that's going to show basically down here. It will let you know you collected it, and it's there for your use later. Okay? C to continue. Level indicator. Cloud coin for each cloud layer will appear over here. There's a, basically a total of 10 levels that I made in this game. Uh, there's main levels, and then there's some cloud triangle levels that aren't really a level, but you got to get through them to get to the next one. And it's created by me, TJ Ferreira. Enjoy. Play the game. Play the game. I made that with next DAW. Sound effects. Stra each layer is named after, instead of levels, they're layers like a cloud layer. And so the object is to go collect these blue quackers. <laughs> oh shit, he's gonna, uh, Twistatron's gonna touch that one, but I got it first. You'll see each one I touch appear over here. It turns from the red ones to blue. Once I've got seven, there we go. The portal just arrived. Now right now, if that nasty touched it before I did, I'd be screwed, but I got all the ones I can get. And now I'm transporting to the next layer. Each layer is named after a cl uh, real clouds in, 
in our world. Cumulus. Let me make sure it's, I think it's uh, still harnessed in on the screen. Oh shit, oh shit, gotta collect it first, got it. Oh, that one was close. Okay, two more. Got it, okay. Oh, I, I'm i gonna be, I'm gonna get that every single point I can get. At the end of this game, it will tell you how many you've got. So if you can get through all the levels and get a super high score, you can jot it down and remember what you did in this game. See how they're appearing over here? I've now made it through two levels. <clears throat> We're going on a Strato C. <clears throat> Doing pretty good. Uh, so everybody's moving a little quicker now. Uh, the nasties are, especially. Which means they can touch shit quicker. Uh, oh, I just see. Oh, God, I better touch it. <laughs> uh, I could only get seven that time. Because the nasties are moving faster. Cloud Triangle. Here's the first Cloud Triangle. Think of Bermuda Triangle. Just that lost area that you got to get through to get back home again. So, what do I do here? Oh, oh, shit! Now I've got the Cloud People for the first time in my game history. Oh, shit! I can't get all seven, you son of a bitch! Who programmed this game? So you see that I'm screwed, uh, and these guys are relentless, so I'm going to have to die. There's nothing I could do now. They've touched... So sometimes you'll notice they're harping on me. You can kind of direct them a little bit towards getting away from maybe a blue uh, thing that you needed to get. But I wasn't going to win that one, so I took myself out. So shit, I might not get through this cloud triangle. I lost the life. I sell you, Storm. Okay, now go. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, you son of a bitch. I swear, okay. <laughs> I might not make it past this. Holy crap. I don't remember it being this hard. <laughs> it's been a while since I played. Okay, uh, and there's a lot of rip. Son of a bitch. So game over. I made this out in next Daw. I collected 27 blue raindrops. I did not win. I did not get past the first cloud triangle. So we're going to play again. <laughs> this video will be long. Hopefully you're sticking it out with me. So I have a little timeout here at the end where it gives you an opportunity to say, yes, I want to continue playing on or no, I want to quit the game. But yes, I want to hit yes. And we're going to play again. So now we're going to get down to business. So that was hard. So Cloud Triangle is the first introduction of the cloud people coming in on their space hoverboards flapping their arms around at you. It was fun creating them because my original game, Invasion of the Cloud People for the Spec E48, did not really have any cloud people. It was all the L... Oh, shit. You son of a bitch, I can't get all seven here. But I'm going to go touch this This is get the points. So I'm screwed. So, uh, take myself out. This is not starting out very well. So anyway, yeah, I didn't have actual cloud people in my first game. It was just all elemental things. Chakra, Twiskatron, Hail Bopper coming after you. Uh, uh, but this is the first introduction of... Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so this is a good one. This one I should do okay. At least I'll get past this one. But I've already lost a life because I had to take myself out. So that doom, 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 doom. If you watch some of my older videos, I'll explain how I made that sound in Next Daw and why I made it. Cumulus. So all these sound effects I made in Next Daw, which I, I think adds a fun little element to the game. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Oh, shit. I don't want to be it. Sometimes if you're up at the top, like, oh, I'm going to chance it. I'm going to go for the points. And then touch. If, if these things, the portal lands right on an edge, or you go up to that edge, sometimes those nasties come right out on top of you or on the side of you. I think we're going to, I don't know if I'm going to play three attempts on this. I may just do two. Because <laughs> you've got to see the uh, cloud people, at least. So that's cool. 
Oh, chakra shit. Oh, this is... Oh, oh he touched the dumbass. Oh, see, I was getting all... Um, I'm playing at an angle. <laughs> I, I'm playing at an angle. I'm going to blame that. I've already lost two lives. I'm not going to get far. Because I needed every single freaking life to get through that cloud triangle, you bastards. Oh, no. <laughs> He was moving too fast. Okay, let's go for the points. If anything else, I, I want to at least score more points. So now I only got one life to get through that cloud triangle, you son of a biscuit. Okay. Okay. And they are relentless. They'll just come after your ass until you are dead. Okay. Put, him, put the blue... Oh, oh shit. Up. Uh, Collect, 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 collect. Fly to the left. Fly like a dickens. Okay, uh, okay. One. Portal. Okay, oh shit, the portal's right here. Okay. I made it. <laughs> so down here will appear the secret little portal uh, that I could, if I hit the space bar, it's saying, hey, congratulations. You earned that. So now I can hit the space bar once I collect four of the acid raindrops to go to the next level. It's kind of a little bit of a give me. Nimbo. <laughs> Nim not a bimbo. Uh, although there's some, probably some bimbo uh, cloud ladies up there. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, let's go. Uh, okay, so this is where the introduction of Hail Bopper comes in. You'll see that Hail Bopper go, is chucking. Oh, shit. Oh, chakra shit. Oh, chakra shit. Okay, left. Left. Oh! Oh, son of a biscuit! Oh, no! Uh, and there's some levels that the nasty there is not allowed to touch the... He, he can touch the portal, but it doesn't make you lose. So, uh, go, go. Okay, uh, fly down like a dickens. I made it. Thank goodness. Okay, cool. I'm doing better now. I'm, I'm getting through something. So now you're seeing some extra elements of the game that I created. Alto S. Sounds like something for an ulcer. <laughs> uh, heartburn. And I'm getting a little heartburn now. Okay. Uh... Oh, oh, shit. Uh, I gotta, you got to collect at least four to use the thing. Normally, if you're playing like Casey Nidal and he's playing good... You, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh son of a bitch! Oh you bastard! I never got to use my portal. You son of a bitch! Fifty-four points. So you see now a few levels: one, two, three, four, five, and a cloud layer. That's my little game that I created. You can do the same. Well, I, I'm not gonna guarantee it, but do try. And I'd love you know uh, if you're on the Sinclair Society Facebook group. If you're not, join, because that's where I chat a lot about what I'm up to. Love to hear what you're up to. Thanks for watching this video, and have a great rest of your day, and enjoy your Specky Next Kickstarter 2, or if you've just got the one and you're now getting back into it, uh, we look forward to chatting with you. So let's hit no, and thanks for playing. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.